In this video, we will be reviewing the parts of the Pilling Boston University Suspension System and how to assemble it. The Boston University Suspension System is used to suspend the laryngoscope during micro and laser surgery of the larynx. The system setup allows surgeons to use both hands to operate on the patient. Since the system is secured onto bed rails, it is not affected by the patient's chest movement. The suspension system allows use of the Boyce Jackson position it also allows surgeons to reposition the table as necessary without readjusting the system itself. The components of the Boston University suspension system are rail clamp, vertical post and pivoting gear system, pivoting extension arm assembly, and the laryngoscope handle extension. All pilling laryngoscopes can be tapped to make them compatible with the Boston University suspension system. Step one, place the rail clamp on the bed rail. To tighten the rail clamp around the bed rail, turn the black knob on the bottom of the clamp clockwise. Turn it counterclockwise to loosen and adjust when needed. You may need to adjust the position of the suspension system closer to the patient's head or feet after the final assembly. The left side of the patient is the most common place to install the suspension system, but it can be installed on the right side as well. Step two, place the vertical post and pivoting gear system in the slot of the rail clamp. Use the patient's chest as a gauge of where to adjust the post. Tighten the rail clamp around the vertical post. Use the upper black knob to secure the post at the desired height by turning it clockwise. Then adjust the pivoting gear system approximately 20 to 30 degrees towards the patient's feet. Align the teeth and turn the locking knob clockwise to tighten. You can adjust the extension arm by turning the top adjustment knob. Turn the knob clockwise to lower the gearbox. Turn it counterclockwise to raise the arm. Step three. Place the pivoting extension arm assembly on the extension arm of the gear assembly by sliding it into place. Adjust as needed. You may need to leave this loose for adjustments during the procedure. Attach the laryngoscope holder extension to the laryngoscope by screwing it into the tapped area at the end of the laryngoscope handle. Step four, using the desired groove in the extension handle, Place the laryngoscope in the notch of the pivoting extension arm assembly and adjust as necessary. And now you are ready to use the Boston University suspension system.